In the last video, we created the Formic container component, which we will soon use to test the different form fields. In this video, we are going to create what I call as the Formic control component. So in the components folder, create a new file called formiccontrol.js. Within the file, I'm going to use the snippet rfce to create a function component. Now the functionality of this component is really simple. This component is going to decide which of the different form fields have to be rendered based on one particular prop. Let's call that prop as control. So specify props and destructure it. Now the way to decide which component to render is a simple switch case. So switch and the expression is control. We're going to take a look at six different form controls. So let's add six switch cases. And let's add a default case where we return null. Now, all we have left is to create the actual components that would be returned for each of these cases. So in the next video, let's implement an input component that we can return for our first case. I'll see you guys in the next one.